And back on Earth, it's time now for sports with Darren Mara. Darren, a long night of celebrations on the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, no doubt, Lillian. Good evening to you. Fans turned out today to cheer on the Sunshine Coast Lightning after they took out the inaugural Super Netball crown last night. They downed the Giants in a thriller in Brisbane. Hundreds of fans have turned out to welcome home the winners of the inaugural Super Netball Crown. Sunshine Coast Lightning taking their place in history as the first victors of the new era. The club that didn't exist a year ago bolted to the pinnacle of netball's elite, awarded the key to the city, already promising a repeat performance. And it's looking to make sure we come in, set pre-season at another level and just take this competition to a whole other level. So we're excited to maintain this group and just looking forward to 2018 now. But it was the New South Wales outfit off to the better start in the decider. The Giants feeding the ball into Christina Bryce unimpeded. Such a beautiful feed into the ball. Until Carla Mostert put up the defences. Mostert just read that beautifully. Giving the league's best a chance to find her stride. Caitlin Bassett looks like she's in her comfort zone. And by half time lightning had struck. Stephanie Wood edging out a lead. Three seconds on the shot, she makes it. Oh, ha, ha. As the Sunshine Coast skipper shut down the Giants shooters. Oh, terrific anticipation yeah. from Jeeva Mentor. Bassett continuing the push, scoring 48 from 50 shots. He's got under a pressure. shoot, yeah. Under pressure, Liz, my goodness. Lightning left to run out the clock. The team that's only been together for nine months, taking home the first Super Netball title with the biggest grand final margin in over a decade. <laughs> Abby Dinham, SBS World News. The Socceroos are stepping up the training ahead of their opening Confederations Cup showdown with world champions Germany. Coach Ange Postacoglu has favoured a back three defensive setup in recent matches and it looks likely to continue. The players are becoming more familiar with how it operates and they say its impact on performances will grow. A lot of top teams seem to be trying and we're trying it as well. Um, and you know, it's, it's only going to get better for us and as players we're excited by you know, what, it, what can come of it and what it's about and we know how, how well we can do it. Australia's only injury doubt, Robbie Cruz, has overcome the knee concerns suffered in the friendly loss to Brazil last week. Well, the host nation made a winning start at the tournament under the watchful eye of Russian President Vladimir Putin in St Petersburg. New Zealand defender Michael Boxall turned into his own net under intense pressure in the first half. In the second half, Fyodor Smolov completed a comfortable win for Russia. We knew they would come at us, they were going to pressure us, so we wanted to play in their half and... You know, even though when they scored, we still continued to try and press them and play. And, um, you know, 1-0 at half-time, we, we still had a chance to come out and get a goal. So it was uh, disappointing. And a reminder, SBS will telecast all of the Socceroos Confederations Cup games live from Russia. Join us early on Tuesday morning when Australia takes on world champs Germany. The coverage kicks off at 12.30 a.m. in the East. The Western Bulldogs have suffered their first defeat in Melbourne this season in a 57-point thrashing by the Demons. The Dogs lost midfielder Lin Jong early with a knee injury and it just went from bad to worse. Melbourne scoring four goals to none in the opening term. Jeff Garlett finishing off a flawless run. Marcus Bontempelli, he tried to spur on a comeback for the Dogs, but fate was sealed. The Ds with three wins on the trot and a place in the top five. In the NRL, Clinton Gutherson has celebrated his return to fullback by leading Parramatta to victory against St George Illawarra. He scored both the Eels' first half tries as they built a 12-4 lead at the interval. Tries to Michael Jennings and Bevan French after the break made the advantage insurmountable. But the win came at a cost though with hooker Kaiser Pritchard going to hospital with a serious knee injury and Bo Scott hurting an elbow. Well, for the first time in a major 50-over final, rivals India and Pakistan meet tonight to decide this year's Champions Trophy in London. Despite the ferocious rivalry between the nations, India captain Virat Kohli says his team will treat it as just another game. Pakistan is the underdog, but coach Mickey Arthur says his side can upset India at the Oval. I said it before the England game. If we put our A game together and we do the basics well, we can, we, we can beat anybody. That's the kind of players they have and that's the kind of ability they have in their side. So we're quite aware of that. Um, but at the same time, neither are we uh, too imp intimidated or not, nor are we too arrogant about what we are doing. India thrashed Pakistan in their opening fixture of the tournament by 124 runs. Tonight, 
is expected to be much closer. American Justin Thomas fired the lowest round in US Open history, but it still wasn't enough to take the lead. His third round, 63, included an incredible birdie putt at the fifth. Here you can see it right now. His nine under par effort lifted him into second spot. Thomas's record-breaking round sealed with an eagle at the last. Well, fellow American Brian Harmon leads him by a shot at 12 under par. Yeah, I'm going to be super nervous, but so, so is everyone else tomorrow. And I'm just going to try and enjoy the moment as much as I can and, and try to stick to my game plan. If Harmon does manage to stay in front, he'll become the first left-hander to lift the trophy amazingly. While the last remaining Australian, Mark Leishman, he sits eight shots back. In the tennis, Frenchman Lucas Pouy has ousted countryman Benoit Paré to reach the Mercedes Cup final in Stuttgart. Smashing 13 aces, Pouy edged out a narrow 7-6, 7-5 victory to set up a final against Feliciano Lopez. Well, earlier, the Spaniard booked his final's berth after a tight encounter with Misha Zverev, winning after a double fault by the German. And finally, New Zealand has made a flying start in the America's Cup final with two wins over the United States. The Kiwis took out the first race by 30 seconds. Race two was set for a close finish until a bad jibe by the US set them hundreds of metres off the pace. The Kiwis' double victory erased a one-point advantage the US team had earned in an earlier regatta. That's the day in sport, Lena. Thank you very much, Darren. Coming up, the weather and an epic voyage on the high seas by a traditional Polynesian canoe.